Boogity! Okay, team, it's been brought to my attention that our client satisfaction has been less than stellar lately. The advertising we delivered has been deemed subpar across the board, and I know we can do better. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of that, shall we? Boss, I don't know where you got that idea. There's no problem. We're still making great money, and that's what matters. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely be able to keep the money coming. I mean, you've single-handedly destroyed our agency's reputation, but that couldn't possibly affect our ability to make money. Excuse me? Now, hold on a minute, Kevin. How is this all Andrew's fault? He's been throwing out dumb idea after dumb idea, and you keep agreeing with him, so we've kept doing them. We're putting out stuff that everyone hates and doesn't work. Boss, may I reiterate that our revenue has been consistently above average. I have a chart to show you how much money we've been making. Ooh, chart! I like charts! I got a chart for you. How about how much our clients think we suck? Over time, marked with the day that Tommy left, and you made this prick the big idea guy. Guess when it starts getting worse? So where's the chart? What? I... I don't actually have the chart. I didn't actually make it. But just... We just... Look, look. Ever since you put Andy Dickhead in charge, we've been putting out crap. Why can't you just fire him already? Kevin, we all know about your personal vendetta against me. If you want to back up your baseless accusations with some hard facts, you... FACT! Your ideas fail! They you have any data failures. to back Every that up? One of them. Where's your Everyone data? Knows what Where's I'm your talking about. Tommy Show knew me what the he was data, doing. Kevin. Tommy was Show doing. me You're some a dumbass! Data. Now, Kevin, I think we can all agree that compared to Tommy, Andrew is stylistically different. And stylistically he... different? He's fucking incompetent! You know what he said the other day? He said that people want more commercials okay, on TV. Okay, Kevin, and... Kevin, calm down. That's... that's enough. Look, boss, Andrew is... Uh, enthusiastic, but things just really haven't been the same since we lost Tommy. When he was here, the ads we made for people, they worked. They caught people's attention, and they weren't invasive about it, and they built our reputation. I'm uh, sure Andrew can contribute some insight, but we need a new Tommy. We need someone with good ideas about how to catch attention and keep it. Just please, see if you can refill his position. Uh, well, we do need another graphics expert. Okay, sounds good. Hey, I know what would catch people's attention. We, we put up a, a, a big billboard and give it a bright red background, and and, and, and we have, like, these these Eskimos, and they're, they're all, like, pointing down at you and screaming. And it says in big, bold letters, it says, Your face is a saxophone. Don't you want to tell them what they really want? Yeah. Tell them all where they should shop and load it, but it load it, but it load it, but it load it, but it load it, don't you want to get yourself control of their minds? And don't you want to keep it till the end of time? And load it, but it load it, but it load it. At McDonald's, our burgers are made with 100% real beef. I'm not saying it's particularly good beef, but, you know, it came from a cow. Bada bada. Uh, hello? Hi, Eddie. Yes, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Leora Glass. I'm on the design team, which you are too now. I suppose so. Nice meeting you too, Miss Glass. Just Leora, please. Leora, nice meeting you. So, uh, just curious. Is there normally someone there? I'm on break! Uh, yeah. She's an interesting lady. We try not to think about her too much. Uh, come on. Let's get you introduced to everyone.
Our agency's hired a lot of new people. Most of them accountants and, well, accountants. Granted, a lot of them are on the design team, but they went to accounting school. It used to be just us, well, I don't want to sound pretentious, but just us real designers and only one certified number cruncher. But things have changed. Yeah, things have changed. This place has been taken over by goddamn zombies. We didn't used to have these cubicles. What the fuck are these cubicles for? Oh, right, because we got so many goddamn zombies working here and we got to keep them penned up. Can you not scare the new guy away, please? Shit, sorry. Hey, so you're the new Tommy? Um... Tommy used to work here. You have his job now. So, Eddie, this is Kevin, our web design and development specialist. Yeah, good to meet you. Uh, can, we, uh, can we finish this later? I'm kind of busy. If you were so busy, why did you start screaming about zombies? Because they're all zombies! Kevin's very... passionate. Let's say that. Anyway, this is Blake. Hi, my name's Blake. Blake, this is our new graphic designer, Eddie. Hi, Eddie, I'm Blake. Uh, hi there. Good to... good to meet you. Oh, did I show you my tattoo? You just met him, Blake. Oh, dude, you gotta check this out. Look, 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 check it out, check it out, bro. It means awesome in Asian. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. I, I know, right? You, whoa, you have a big head. Blake, that's not nice. No, no, it's fine. I get that a lot anyway. Yeah, it, it's not really that big. I was just being sargastic. Okay, team, we've got ourselves some clients. But first, I'd like you all to welcome our latest addition to the design crew, Edward Tungsten Cohen. Hi! Hi. And now, let's meet our new clients from PepsiCo Incorporated. Hi. Hi. Why don't you gentlemen tell our bright and creative staff what new, revolutionary, innovative, and game-changing product you like them to craft a promotion for? We're introducing a new soft drink to the soft drink market for an untapped demographic of soft drink consumers. It's a variation on the world-renowned Pepsi brand Cola Soft Drink, with a revolutionary new innovation in the soft drink market. It has no calories! So, Diet Pepsi? No, not Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi is a soft drink for the demographic of nutrition and health-conscious consumers. This new soft drink is the same great Pepsi brand Cola Soft Drink, but for consumers who want zero calories. Zero! So, to emphasize those zero calories, we're calling it Pepsi Nano. Are you kidding me? Not at all. So, seriously, Pepsi Nano? That's, That's right. right! It's a great brand, don't, don't you agree? agree? No! No! Just no! Nano is an overused cliché term, and besides, it means that something is small. You're not making a small soda, you're making a zero-calorie soda, which you already make and you call it Diet Pepsi. So if you're gonna unapologetically rip off Coca-Cola like you always do, why not just call this rebranded Diet Soda Pepsi Zero? But Pepsi Zero doesn't convey zero calories the way that Pepsi Nano does. <sighs> Never mind. Alright, I'm on board with this. Now I'm guessing with the hipness and the nowness and the futuristicness of the brand name you've chosen, you're looking to target a younger, tech-savvy demographic. Tech! That's it! High tech! I got it! Okay, okay, okay. Slogan time! Get this! Nano calories! Like, nano calories! Mega taste! Like, like, mega bite! Except it's a drink, so you don't bite it, you drink it! Nano calories make a taste. Oh yeah! I love it, Blake. See me after this meeting for a cookie. Cookie! As you can see, gentlemen, Blake is our go-to guy for great slogans. Yeah, it's even on my business card. Look, check it. Blake O'Malley, slogan savant. Sometimes when he's being mean, Andrew says I'm an idiot savant. But that's totally not true. I'm a really good savant. So, anyway, if you want to reach those tech-savvy young folks, I know exactly where you need to push this product. The internet. Holy shit, he's not an imbecile. But you know what else Pepsi Nano says to me? It makes me think of a 1950s malt shop. I take that back. So we need to give this ad campaign a retro feel. Super retro. And you know what kind of ad on the internet is really retro? Pop-ups. Oh, God. Uh, I don't think that would be a good idea. Pop-up ads die for a reason, Andrew. They suck. Yeah, you think everything I say sucks just because I said it. No, because it does! Well, I have something that might be a better idea. It... Excuse me? Well, we're doing this on the internet. And the internet's not like a magazine or a newspaper, it's... Tubes, right? No, no. It's where people go to share things and talk about things. Everyone's communicating with each other. They're not being communicated to. 
Not following you, Eddie. Give me some buzzwords. Uh, social networking, social media, web 2.0. Ah, it burns my ears! Now that sounds paradigm shifting. So, how do we get at this social 2.0 media network? Ah! Well, there are lots of, uh... Well, we could cut a deal with Squoogie. It's this really popular site where people, they, 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 um... Well, how do I put this? Oh, Kev Kevin, do you have that video? Ugh, yeah, fine. Here, yeah. I am Dev Boulder, CEO of Squiggy Incorporated. Squiggy is who we are. From head to toe, top to bottom, front to back, we are Squiggy. It's even in our URL. If I want to go to Squiggy, I just type Squiggy, and that's it. We're not Squiggy.com, we're just Squiggy. The way that Squiggy works is that every user has a squeam, which is all of their latest squigs. To add something to your squeam, you squig it! And then other Squiggy users can squall your squigs, or squat to your squigs, or square your squigs with our squallers. And you can squig from your computer, from your text messaging, from your iPhone, from your Android, from your Xbox, and even your toaster! You can squig from your frickin' toaster, dude! It's squawsome! This is all very interesting, but how does Squiggy differentiate itself from Twitter, or Facebook, etc? It's different from Twitter, because Twitter's better. Twitter's better than everything. This is the most fucking retarded idea for a website I've ever heard! I can't imagine anyone who'd use it! The Gillette Fusion has five whole blades to give you a close shave. And after that one close shave, it's all worn out. So you gotta pop in another $40 cartridge. Gillette, if you don't buy our shit, you got a small dick. Okay, I just spoke with Dev Boulder's secretary. He will be having a video conference with us at 3 o'clock. Awesome! Put it here! Oh yeah! And Eddie, 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 bro, your idea, look at me. Your idea straight off that was killer. Pound it! Yes, like, OMG, that was totally tubular, bro. Tubular? No, dude, that's all like 90s and stuff. I wasn't talking to you, cock ring. Edward Tungsten Cohen. Is that a Russian name? Uh, no. Really? Because you look an awful lot like a socialist to me. Russia was communist. See what I mean? Socialist propaganda. Well, you listen to me, you socialist scum. We have no place for propaganda in the advertising industry. Andy, face it. You're a dumbass. He ain't. You want your dick to feel bigger? Go buy armor. Shut your trap, lung cancer. I'm talking to the new guy. Listen to me, Edward. I've been making this for more money than you could possibly imagine. I'm the big man around here. I make the decisions, and I get the big, fat bonus at the end of the fiscal year. You think you could come here and just take that from me? Well, think again. You're going down, bitch. Look, Andrew, I can already tell that no matter how nice of a guy I try to be, you're not going to be my friend, and that's fine. But I need this job. There are very few others out there. I'm not trying to take anything away from you, so don't take this away from me. Don't ever touch me again. Thank you so much for meeting with us, Mr. Boulder. No problem, dude. This sounds totally sweet. We're always looking for new ways to squanitize. Okay. So I was thinking that maybe some few people would, uh... Liara, why don't you explain it? A few select users would get an ad in their, uh, squeam of people they, uh, squallow. Yeah, their squeaky squall squab they squeam, go on. And this ad would encourage people to, uh, squig it. To square it with their squallowers? Yeah. You see, anyone who did that would get a discount code thing. Right, yeah, a coupon. Anyone who uh, squared the ad would get a 10% off coupon for Pepsi Nano, and so it would probably spread out fast and get a lot of people out there to try the new soda. Soft drink. Uh, yes, soft drink. And it would work out pretty well. So, how does that sound? Sounds cool! Hell yeah, it does! Now, alternatively, we could take another approach, which doesn't depend on the users to spread itself. Uh, Andrew, he likes the idea. 
We don't need an alternative. The social sharing approach is all nice and kumbaya and whatnot, but it's a big risk. We could get lots of people to see the ads, or we can get none. So why don't we do this? Slap the ads up for everyone, so everyone sees it. That's what we want, right? For everyone to have this thing shoved in their face? And once we've got that, we don't need the discount coupon thing. So that'll save our clients some money. And those savings, well, I think you know where they would be passed on to, Mr. Boulder. Andrew, uh, we didn't talk about that. That's not what we're proposing. Uh, you know, dude, you're right. We don't even know if anyone's gonna be squigging it. This way they don't have to squig it. It'll just be right there for squig everyone. Yes! Good thinking, Andrew. <laughs> this isn't a good idea. Well, our partner disagrees with you, Edward. He prefers my proposal over yours. Look, Mr. Boulder, that's not... It, it just... People don't go to your website to look at things. They... They... Eddie, that will be all. Thanks. So, Mr. Boulder, are you interested? Totally. We're doing this. Let's write up a squantract. At Whole Foods, we sell organically grown produce. Organic is a scientific term that means something contains the element carbon. So we could be fertilizing our crops with coal and pencil shavings and technically not be lying. Whole Foods. Hey, Eddie. Hey there. Talk with me for a sec. Hold up. You hanging in there okay? Eh, I'm bummed about what happened. I was so excited. My idea and everyone loved it. And then, I can never explain myself and I need to. Maybe I could have shot him down again if I was just more articulate. You're doing fine now. I know, it's just when I get an idea, I can't always put it into words. The aura helped, but just... Damn! I thought it was going somewhere. Andrew is a prick. Ever since Tommy, your predecessor, got laid off for a bunch of financial reasons that... Okay, Andy got him fired by fudging the balance sheet, basically. And now he's feeling very empowered because, well, he has so much power. The only reason we've had to deal with this shit for so long is because we all knew he was wrong, but none of us could really say what was right. What he says, it makes your IQ drop just listening to it. It's hard to counter. Hey, Eddie, you wanna get some beers with us? Uh, sure. Oh, yeah! We'll be just a minute. Look, I don't say this about many people, but you're right, Eddie. So stick around, because, well, we could use you. Wasn't planning on leaving. Good. Would you mind, uh, stepping on me? Well, today went decently, all things considered. Yeah, it sucked. The less than it usually does. I mocked up an okay-looking banner ad. Yeah, I saw that. Probably as good as you can get with a banner. Eh, it's not great. That's what I'm saying. Banners aren't great. But hey, we'll do something that makes sense next time. We're better than Andrew. You know what I bet he's doing right now? I bet he's sitting at home thinking about how much he wants to get laid, and he's totally not getting laid. Oh, God, don't... don't remind me. He was that bad? I said don't remind me, Blake. Oh. <laughs> what the hell did I see in him? Ten inches? Oh, no. Hell no. You're... You're over by, like, seven. Ha! <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Everything that he does that you think is compensating for something, you're right. It is. Well, maybe you want to see what a real man can do, huh? Nice try. Wait, bro. I thought you were gay. What? No. What about that time you were drunk? You said something kind of funny like, gay sex is actually manlier because there are no women involved. Yeah, it was a joke. Then you asked me for a hand job. That didn't happen! Yeah, it totally did. Aw, Kevin's a fruity drunk. That's cute. Shut up. Yeah, you're like a margarita. Look what you did, Blake. Fuck you. Yeah, you wanted to. Burn! Damn, boy, put it here. That's what he said. Oh, snap! You're on fire, Blake. Yeah, because he's flaming. You want to talk, butthead? You were just flaming outside the building an hour ago. Oh, But seriously, Kevin, I'm just screwed with you, bro. Well... Not like that way, because you're totally not my type, but you know, we're cool and stuff. Yeah, 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 whatever. So anyway, welcome to the Buzzword family, Eddie. Why, thank you. You're welcome. I know, you just said that. <laughs> that I did. Well, to your new job with us and to your success, Eddie. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> Such a laughing at. Oh, dude. Just, just, uh, oh, oh my god, bro, just, just, just check it. <laughs> no! Woo! Figure it.
Tuile is the best cat video on YouTube. Wow, that's our retarded LOL! Why do people walk this stuff? Quick question. Why are you commenting on video that you think is stupid and you didn't really say that this video is stupid? Basically all videos featuring cats are lame. I agree with you. A friend sent me the link, but why would you do that? <laughs> this is great, but if you want to see sex 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 these loves going at it, go to www.nakedstars4u <laughs> Amazing grace. Instead of helping this starving child, we're filming him. For just pennies a day, you could be buying our vice president a seventh Ferrari, and only one tenth of your money will make it to these starving children. If we feel like it. Lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Well, I just wanted to be here in person to celebrate the success of our Squadvertising campaign. Thank you all so much. Oh no, thank you, Mr. Baldwin. Thanks to the ads you showed on your website, and to the efforts of the Buzzword marketing team in creating them, our stock drink sales have been through the roof. Great job, team! Totally sweet. So, how much did Squiggy's payment come to, anyways? Your cut is zero dollars and zero cents, Mr. Balder. What? Wait, huh? Why? Well, nobody actually clicked on the ads, you see. And why would they? I mean, this is Pepsi we're talking about. They sell soda. You get that from a store. Who the hell wants to go to their website? Anyway, since we were going to be paying you on a per-click basis, you get nothing. Have a nice day. So what, you're just gonna squeal me over? You bet your squares I am. But it's okay, because I saved our firm so much money by doing that. Here, take a look at this chart. Well, I can't argue with the chart, Andrew. Job well done. The fuck? Boss, please tell me that was a sargasm. Why? What's wrong here? Our client is happy, aren't you, sir? Indeed I am. Good, Good doing business with you. Well, what about me, dude? I'm pissed. What are you going to do? Squoog angrily about it? The people who use your site have no attention span whatsoever. Just go die in a fire. Man, this is fucking bull squid. Andrew, this is not the kind of reputation we should be spreading. How are we ever going to cut a deal with anyone on the internet ever again? Do you have a better idea, Dick Smack? Yeah, I do. We should be nice to people. Agreed. Me too. Me five. Intriguing idea, Eddie. How about we A, B this? We'll go with your strategy, then with Andrew's strategy, and see what the data says. But boss, that won't be necessary. We've proven now, that- Now, now, Andrew. We need data. We need analytics. Let's give Eddie a chance to put his numbers up against yours, so we can make an educated decision as a team. Haven't we? I mean, the majority agrees with me. Aren't you forgetting about everyone else? Oh. Well, they, uh... They never say anything, so I figured they were just, uh, extras, or... Never mind. Fine. We'll do it your way for a while, Edward. But mark my words. You will not succeed. I will break you. I will find all of your weaknesses and exploit them with no mercy whatsoever. I said it once, I'll say it again. You're going down, bitch. You have a three-inch penis. Who wants lunch?